I wanted to take a moment at the top of our briefing today to note that on this day 21 years ago, President Clinton announced the naming of the White House briefing room for former Press Secretary James Brady. Brady, as many of you are probably aware, was severely wounded in a 1981 assassination attempt on President Reagan and later became a prominent gun violence prevention advocate. During the campaign, President Biden laid out an ambitious plan to make our community safer. And, and that's why, in part, yesterday, senior members of his team, domestic policy advisor Susan Rice, White House Public Engagement Director Cedric Richmond, hosted a virtual discussion with leaders of gun violence prevention groups to discuss our shared goals. The very gun violence prevention organization named for James Brady was part of that discussion, along with Giffords, Everytown for Gun Safety, and Moms Demand Action. These organizations all have a critical role to play. Gun violence may not be in the headlines today or right now, but gun violence continues to fracture American communities and American families every single day. Last year, we saw a historic spike in homicides across America, and we know gun violence in our cities disproportionately affects black and brown individuals. Last month, we also saw a near, re a near record increase in the number of gun sales. We look forward to working with gun violence survivors and advocates and sharing more in the weeks and months ahead about our efforts to make our communities safer. Also, as, as many of you